Well, after 13 years of Goodwill tours around the country, the Goodyear blimp America has made its last trip. Eyewitness newsman Stephen Galvain reports that the giant airship will soon be deflated, folded up, and put away. The final voyage of America. It flew in from Atlanta today, and as it neared its home base north of Houston, America rode like a cork on invisible hot air thermals. The landing and mooring was routine, if a little dangerous. One swift gust of wind and the lineman could be seriously hurt. Goodyear plans to keep the name America in the air. This brand new blimp will take its place. It too is 192 feet long and holds more than 200,000 cubic feet of helium. The old blimp, commissioned in 1969, is being retired because its Decron skin has become too porous. It leaks helium. Well, I guess it is a little bit sad to have to bring it in for the last time, you know, but. Uh, a little bit of everything has to come to an end, so we're going to be kind of uh, anxious to get out with a new ship and fly her too. There is one small flight left for this old airship. It'll be side by side with the new America in a flight over Houston on Monday. Then, after a few ground tests, the old America will be deflated, folded up, and stored in a wooden crate in the back of the hangar. Stephen Govain, Eyewitness News. Yes, I have. In America? A terrific, I terrific I never have. Ride. I missed it. Maybe I'll get to go up in the new ones. Hey, they're fun. They really are. And uh, very, very uh, soft and uh, on the air. You know, they float very, very gracefully. I would say that burglars and robbers better beware up in Montgomery County because they are going to be much better prepared, prepared to defend themselves thanks to a free gun safety course, which kicked off today. Sylvan Rodriguez reports that many of the women fired a gun for the first time, even though the handgun had been in their house for years. If you know that and your weapon is not loaded and it's a crisis situation, you may only get to load two or three rounds. There is a concern for protection of life and property. That's what brought some of these ladies out. But added to that, there is the concern of having a weapon in the house, a weapon that could be very dangerous unless you know how to use it. About half of these 19 women had never fired their pistols before this course. This is the first day of the first course offered by the Montgomery Sheriff's Department. I'm home by myself sometimes. I would uh, like to know how to protect myself. The women are using guns that they or their husbands have bought, and they supply the ammunition. A very good friend of mine was killed in Hollywood last year with a handgun, and if he had perhaps known how to use one properly, that might not have happened. And there is another reason. Many of these women moved to Montgomery County from Houston seeking peace and quiet, but the rural setting is acquiring urban problems of crime. There, we live in a very heavily wooded area, so when someone breaks in, they can get away so fast. We're on a golf course, and there's lots of low, low shrubbery you know, where they can get away. and. Uh, the police can't get to us all fast enough. You know, there are just too many of us. We're and because of Houston, Montgomery County is one of the fastest growing counties in Texas. From Conroe, Sylvan Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.